Hey guys, it's Steph from Target 3D and I'm going to show you how to set up and place the Perception Neuron Pro Suit on the Talent. Um, to save time, I already uh, placed the sensors on the straps and um, divided them accordingly to their body segment. So, um, and also just in case, if you don't know exactly where the sensors are supposed to be placed, there's always a reference on the back of the sensor. So this one is for the head. And um, yeah, I'll just put that on after. So um, this is how I set it up on the floor. I have my body strap, my head strap. Um, I have my legs and they're divided into left and right side. Same thing for the arms, they're also divided into left and right side. It's just really to save time and to have some kind of um, organization, a routine, so then that way um, it's just a lot, uh, a lot smoother workflow. So now I'm going to uh, show you how to put on the suit. I'm going to start with the bigger one first. Now I have the, the bodysuit on, um, I just have to check the placement of my hips. The hips are the most important one in the sensor, uh, among all the sensors because they are the root sensor that gets reference to the rest of the other segments. Next I'm looking at my shoulders. So the sensor placement should be directly like right above the shoulder blade. That's where you want to, to have it. Put this one here down a little bit more. Next, I'll be doing the, the legs. Just checking this is my right side, my right upper thigh. So in terms of um, the transverse plane, I'm looking transversely at, at the body segments. So you're gonna wanna have this one on the right side at three o'clock. So if this is my 12 o'clock, this has to be my three o'clock. So that's exactly where we want to have this upper upper leg. Again, it's around the center of my my thigh. And this one is um, the lower leg. It's going to be directly at my twelve o'clock on my shin. So we want that one close to 
to the bone as possible. So usually 12 o'clock is the best, um, the best placement for the lower leg. And notice that it's not at the very um, middle side, it's more on the top, close to my knee, on the very top of my tibia. And I'm gonna place my foot, my foot sensor. And that one's gonna be not necessarily at 12 o'clock, but slightly um, to my right. So it's gonna be then your one o'clock. Okay, now I'm going to just do the other side. So for the opposite leg, for the left leg, you're going to have it instead, so this is my 12 o'clock, this is going to be at my 9 o'clock. So this is 9 o'clock, and that's why I have it on this side. And here again, it's also in the middle, so at my, at my 12 o'clock. And on my left foot, I have this at 11, basically 11 o'clock, so my legs look pretty good. Now I'm going to move on to the upper arms. I'm going to start with my right side. For now, I'm just going to place them on first before adjusting after. It's, um, we just want a straight line as I have my arm straight down. So we're looking to see that the sensors are in the same alignment as my arm. So I'm just going to use this mirror to help me know for sure that this is staying straight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to move on to my next, my left side. So again, we want to check the alignment if this is the correct position for, for the arm sensors. So that looks just about right. Okay, so we can just do one last overall check. So just see again from, let's just start from the feet. The feet are at 11 and at 1 o'clock, so it's pretty good. Um, we have our lower leg at uh, 12 o'clock above the shin and we have our our lower our upper leg sensors at three and at nine o'clock. That's pretty good. My arms are straight. Awesome. And you can see that my yeah my left and right 
um, shoulders are at the back and they're just right above my shoulder blade. And then you can see that the hips are centered um, right where my hips should be. So this is perfect. So when you see that, um, then I would decide to start tightening everything up just to make sure that they stay in the same place. So, um, I hope that helped you, um, just, uh, okay, so I hope this was helpful for you, um, if you have any questions or if you wish to know more information, um, you can always contact us.